Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about a new product. It's another weird product that I've tried. This is the BRTC. Yeah, it's another BRTC product because they sent to me. So I thought, you know what, I might as well try it because I think this is pretty interesting and unique and I've never tried one of these before. So these are the BRTC Powder Cleansing Tea Bag. Huh, tea bag, tea bag. <laughs> Sorry, playing too much PUBG Mobile. Um, that's why having some of that gaming lingo. Mm. And if you're wondering, yeah, my top <laughs> is actually a scarf and it's an ice cream design. It's actually by the Baskin Robbins one. Okay, anyway, so uh, going back to this BRTC powder cleansing tea bags in two variants. One is the blackhead one, the other one is the vitamin one. The blackhead one is like a hibiscus kind of ingredient, that's their main ingredient. And the vitamin one has um, mandarin and orange ingredient in the tea bags itself. I've tried both of this out already on a like a separate clip it's easier for me to try out both of them to show you guys how different they are since they are a little bit on the weirder side they're not, not just like a regular mask that it's most probably gonna be the same well to be honest they are pretty similar the way they work is pretty similar but the scent is a little bit different i don't personally feel like one scrubs more or one one cleanse more or one feels more moisturizing even though they say this is like more of a blackhead this one has more vitamin in it i don't know i i can't really tell first off like first impression kind of thing i can't really tell even after trying it out i don't know i, I don't they, yeah they cleanse well very well so i would say that these are more of like a exfoliation kind of cleansing powder or um, tea bags basically they are a cleanser that's more towards the exfoliating side you don't feel much of that scrubbing effect even though they foam up really well and pretty much you use the foam only to kind of apply on your face but they cleanse super crazy amazingly to the point sometimes it does feel a little bit drying so it is more towards the exfoliating side like, okay scrubbing side even though there's no scrubbing property in them and I don't think anyone should use this more than two to three times a week basically you should use this like a scrub in general there is no english other than how to use behind here a little bit sad and unfortunate these are actually powders that's mixed with a little bit of tea so i believe like the hibiscus one has a little bit of hibiscus tea while the orange one has a little bit of like orange tea peel or something like that that's what i assume because there's really not much information here the hibiscus one is more for like pore care kind of thing while the vitamin one is more like multivital force it helps to like strengthen your skin and stuff like that but i really don't know how much does it strengthen your skin they're pretty much the same so feel free to use whichever one that suits your nose palette okay and apparently they are dermal tests skin irritation test completed basically they have been tested for skin irritation this is probably gentler than a regular drugstore scrub that has like really beads like thick beads in them but if you want a super gentle kind of scrub you should try the novo one that is still my like go-to scrub that is crazy gentle on the skin yet still rehydrates your skin so if you have super super dry skin and you want something that's more, more moisturizing rather than a little bit more drying you go for the novo scrub which i'll link somewhere up here okay but these are just more of like if you don't like that the beads in them um, but you still want to feel super clean you can try this out plus also you can use the tea bag itself i think if you can see this clip here you can use a tea bag to kind of rub around your face that is somewhat like scrubbing your face not really cleansing it helps to exfoliate the dead skin cells on the surface layer of the of the face so after the using the tea bag itself they recommend here that you can actually drop it into like a bowl of warm water or hot water for me i prefer hot water and i just soak my feet in it and it feels amazing i tell you first oh it's been so long since i've soaked my feet in warm water and oh my gosh, it feels so, so good. Plus the scent really helps to relax your body and also it really makes you feel like it is like a manicure kind of day, pedicure kind of day, rejuvenate you and make you calm yourself down at the same time. Yeah, so after soaking my feet, I feel that um, my cuticles obviously will be softer. So I take that opportunity to try to push back my cuticles or dig out whatever cuticles that I need to dig out. So basically I do my pedicure lah, after soaking my feet i straight jump into like how i feel about this the thing is i don't really know what the powder is i can't i cannot tell you that's really oh it says cornstarch okay 
Yeah. So I guess the main ingredient is somewhat like cornstarch. Other than that, there's really nothing much that is crazy bad. The ingredients, there's really nothing super bad ingredients. There's no parabens here. In one box like this, I think when you buy, you, it comes only in one box like this. And it's supposed to have four, six, eight. Yeah, I think 15 sheets. So one box like this, you get a packet like this, and behind here, there's all the information. Right there, it's again, that's not much English. It's really just to tell you soak the tea back in water and rub with your hands to make a rich leather. Gently massage leather onto your face and wash off thoroughly, okay? And then if you want to go further, you want to like really, I guess, scrub off the surface layer of your skin. Basically, scrub off the dead skin cells, okay? Don't, don't make it sound so bad. If you want to scrub off the dead skin cells of your face, then you use the tea bag itself. Just wrap it around your fingers and then just gently, gently, yeah, okay? Scrub around your face. And then after that, the, the remaining tea bag just soak it in water okay to soak your feet if you don't want to do that so it doesn't matter you can just throw it away because i don't think it's reusable already i think if like airplane you don't want to bring bottle this is great if you want to travel with this because it's dry it's light and it's easy to use it's great for certain situation okay is it necessary for... <laughs> let me take out the other one also <laughs> this is how the orange one looks like it's very obvious hibiscus orange hibiscus orange but again is it necessary it has its purposes but I don't think so. I mean, when you're at home, it's not like the most necessary product in the world. It does work. I'm not saying it doesn't work and it does work pretty well. If you like that very clean feeling, this will be for you. And it is lightweight, you know, easy to take it out like separately. And if you just want to go somewhere and you want to bring something that's just for one use instead of bringing the whole entire bottle of your cleansing lotion, cleansing cream, cleansing gel, then yeah, this would be a great option. But is it necessary to use for, for home use? Not really. I mean, you can just pretty much use your exfoliation, I guess, cleanser in general or exfoliator or scrub, basically. It works pretty much the same way. Um, some even gentler. So you could get like a better scrub than this, basically, okay? This is just great for a one-time purpose, traveling-wise. I don't know, like a sleepover or something like that and you want your friends to be able to soak their feet or even just to have like a, a nice... Other than just warm water, you want to have like somewhat of a scent and cleansing kind of uh, effect to the water. Uh, yeah, we can add this because this is this is great. <laughs> this is great for the feet. I love it for the feet. Okay, that's that's just my opinion. The face it works well, but it's just maybe. I cannot use this too often, I cannot use this too much as well because it is pretty uh, strong and, and, and rough on my skin a little bit. So this is not something that I will go to or I will personally buy. But I do think that this has its own use. I kind of find myself actually bringing this along for like travel trips instead of you know wanting to bring my scrub along. It's really up to you if you want this or not. It is, I would say, a little bit more of a luxury side, not really a need, not really a necessity. Plus, I think this is great like as a stocking stuffer again this one has all the like images behind one packet like that you know has 15 in them you get to give up to a lot of your friends and plus this is something pretty unique i would say it's something that most probably your friend have not tried and will not try it or um never ever will try it unless you know they actually have a sample of it first so this is great to let them try something new something interesting something that they generally will not buy so yeah that's that's my thought about this i guess it's just a really short one because that's pretty much it it is not something that i would highly highly recommend it but it works it does work okay it's it's not bad it's actually quite nice to use it's great traveling companion if you actually travel quite a lot i personally don't travel as much i do here and there a bit but not that much i'm very much a home-based person plus i don't really like to do sleepovers because I love my stuff so I like to have all my things at home and I like to be able to use all of my things, whatever things that I want to. So yeah, <laughs> that's my thought on the cleansing tea bag. It's definitely something interesting, something unique and you want to try it out for the fun of it. Yeah, why not? It is, it is quite interesting to try. I, I do quite like it for my feet. Other than that, 
I probably will not repurchase this. If you want to know more about this or where you can get them, you know, Christmas is, you know, this is five, six months time. It's not very far. I'll link everything in the description box below. I think the only place that you can get them, I don't know if Sasa sells them. I have a feeling Sasa does sell them because BRTC products kind of actually is available in Sasa if I'm not mistaken. If it's not, you can actually buy them online. It's not a Malaysian website. It is a Korean website. So it's most probably going to be in US but if you want to try it out feel free to get it from there i'm not affiliated or anything i'm just sharing with you my thought about this and just informing you about this tea bag okay so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something yeah i guess i'll see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye, -bye. don't forget to like and subscribe